First of all, sorry dude for making your nose long. You know we are sacrificing your nose for educational purpose, so I hope you don't mind. Anyway, today I'll show you how to make your nose long like Pinocchio or Usopp from One Piece. So without any further ado, let the fun begin. The first thing we need to do is to make the structure of the nose. So create a new layer. Select the brush tool. How thick or long you make it, that's totally your choice. Now click once and hold shift and then click again here. Now press Ctrl plus T and click perspective. So in real world, what happens is Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I mean in the magical world, what happens is the end point of the nose gets thinner. I hope it does. Okay, I think I need to move it down a bit. Now we need to smooth the transition from the real nose to the long nose. Yeah, maybe something like this. Now we need to fill this area. Select the lasso tool and select some areas. Press Ctrl plus J twice to copy the selection twice. For our convenience, I will name this layer base. And these two may be one and two. Drag the base layer below these two layers and make sure all white areas are covered. Now we need to smooth the transition between these two areas. Select the mask, select foreground color black and gently remove the edges. Now select these two layers and press Ctrl plus E to merge them. Now hold Alt and click between these two layers to clip it, so the top layer will only affect the layer below it. Now we can merge these two layers. Select these two layers and press Ctrl plus E. I will name it Nose. As you can see the transition between these two layers are not smooth. So click the mask icon and gently remove the edges. Okay, now as you can see there are some black areas in the nose. So create a curve and increase the brightness. Click this icon to clip it. So it will only affect the layer below it. Invert the mask by pressing Ctrl plus I. Now everything is hidden. And now with the foreground color white selected, just paint like this. Now we'll do some dodging and burning. First create a curve and increase the brightness and then invert it. Again create a curve and this time drag it down.
Now I will simply do some dodging and burning. It will give the flat nose a dimension. If you think it's too much then lower the opacity. Now I will try to match the skin color. Create a new layer. Hold Alt and click to take a sample and paint. Now if I clip it, it will only affect the nose area since all layers are clipped to the nose layers. Change the blend mode to color. If I zoom in, you can see there are some red dots in the real nose. So we need to put something like those in the nose, right? Create a new layer and make the brush smaller and increase the hardness. Hold Alt and click to take a sample. And just put some dots here and there. Now go to Filter, Blur, Question Blur. Choose an amount so that you can hardly see those dots. I will take different sample colors and I will do this few times. Let's group them and lower the opacity a bit. The edges look sharp, we need to blur it. Select the blur tool and just blur the edges. Now create one more layer and I will try to match the color one more time. Okay now again create one more layer and this time I will add some shadows in the edges. For the finishing touch, I will add a global effect so that everything matches well. Create a color lookup table and I will select Crips Worm. And of course I will lower the opacity. Great, now if you want to add some curves or levels or maybe you can go to camera filter, we can do that. But I will end it here. So that's how you make your nose long. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.